Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new pro project to share with you and it's a uh, dress form uh, on a stand and uh, I uh, made uh, a mini album who's standing behind and uh, some boxes and fun stuff and I think uh, this is the most uh, fun projects I ever done. It was so fun to make. And uh, the paper I used was uh, the old curiosity shop from uh, Graphic 45. And this is a really great paper. I have to do much more with this. I really love it. And uh, I will start with uh, showing you some of the products I've used. And um, I've used um, Vintage photo, distress ink, and uh, fired brick, and gathered twigs, distress inks from Tim Holtz. Uh, for the wings, I've used embossing powder from Lindis, and it's a midnight gold. Uh, I also used some ultra thick embosser embossing powder this one and it's from Ranger and then um, I've used the crackle paint this <laughs> from Ranger and the glossy accent from Ranger and uh, to color um, some of the laces and um, and uh, a bow I made, I used this one. It's also from uh, Tim Holtz. It's Distress Stain Black Soot. So now I will show you the stand. And here is the front. And um, I have created a frame in the front here with some tags inside. Some uh, butterflies, a glossy accent, and in the middle here it's a working clock. <laughs> and I had a real uh, great, uh, hard time putting in this clock because the clock is flat and, uh, and uh, this body dress form was, um, was rounded. So I think I used an hour to get that clock in, but uh, I managed at last. And um, this dress form I got from Fiona and I'm so happy for that. So uh, thank you so much Fiona. And uh, here I have uh, crackle painted it with uh, uh, first black and then white and then distressed it. And on the top here I have a birdhouse and the flying pigs. And uh, I think I show you things on the bottom uh, later. So I will turn it around. And uh, the wings here, uh, to create them I used uh, the Tim Holtz die. It's uh, this uh, wing and I copied it on my copy machine uh, to make it larger. And here are some uh, metal flowers from Graphic 45. And I made a um, uh, rose inside here using uh, Cynthia Luhu's uh, great tutorial on how to use uh, Fimo clay to make those. And in the side here I have a key that I used to UT on. And a little flying pig. And this. Like so. And uh, behind here I cut, uh, first we cut out an image, and uh, this is, uh, I've written it down, <laughs> I don't remember, um, I think it calls time pieces, this is a new one from Tim Holtz. And here is a uh, bow, I didn't have the black um, for this, so I coloured it. 
and here is another um, uh, this butterfly, metal butterfly, is uh, new from uh, Graphic 45 and I took some feathers on and I got a clay rose and uh, some of these uh, brads these are also new from Graphic 45 I will take the camera down or zoom in a bit later so you can see it and I will also post um, some close-up uh, pictures on my blog so if you are interested I will uh, post the link below so you can see some close-up pictures and uh, here I created a bag from acetate and uh, have some charms here so I will now adjust my uh, tripod and uh, get it more closer So here you can see a bit closer of uh, the body here and the wings and the pigs here and uh, I made this uh, necklace here from the paper and uh, it's a uh, uh, weird <laughs> owl I think and this is an old earring I had and I will show you more close up for if the lighting is good here. I don't think it shows up so good for the roses. And here is how the back looks like. And here it's a more close up of the skirt. And I made the skirt as a pleated trim and I used two sheets of paper 12 by 12 to get around it. So here are some fussy cutting and yeah. And here you see the clock more. And this uh, image I crackle accent. Now I will take the camera down a bit more so you can see the bottom of it. So here you can see what she has under the skirt. And I used uh, Tim Holtz light bowl here. And uh, here I cut out an image. Like so. And there are some feathers behind and a little bottle with some music note inside and uh, some more bottles here some of the papers inside and I have this uh, knob from Graphic 45 on the top so it can open like so and I put some rest of the beauty inside here Here's another bottle. This was some distress ink in from Tim Holtz. And I use this metal plate from uh, Graphic 45 and has a cut an image here. And uh, took some rope and distress it around the bottle. So I wanted this to look like a bit of a shop, a shop so this can contains medicine or something. And um, here I made some boxes. And this I also colored this lace with a um, distress stain from Tim Holtz. And an image on the top. And inside it's a. Uh, no, now it's stuck. <laughs> Just a little. I'll play some pictures inside. And a little flying pig here. And here is another box. And here are some eggs inside.
And here I create the frame. Like so. And this opens like so. So I can put the picture inside. And um, here is a postcard. I made it as a pocket. And uh, this pulls out. It's an envelope. And I just pressed one of the butterflies from the papers and uh, this girl in the middle. I'm not sure if it shows up. Oh, the butterfly. And uh, inside here, it's a love letter. I'll write something here. a little stand, a little book behind, like so. And, uh, this is uh, Tim Holtz's uh, pen nib. It's for holding this book. And I've also got this image here. And here are for some notes. And here is a new one from uh, Graphic 45, and it's called uh, Cloth Pen. So this can take uh, off and uh, replace the note papers here. So had so much fun creating this. And try to make some things who looks old. And here is a mini album and uh, I will show you that uh, uh, on the end of the video. I'll show you the stand here first. And behind here is a little... when you go to the eye doctor. <laughs> and here are just for some journaling. And behind here is uh, uh, one of the bicycles and I took some gears from Tim Holtz here and uh, clock face and some spinners. And also here I made uh, this um, a thread spool. With some twine around. And this image I got from Angelina. Thank you so much. Came really good to use here. And uh, there's a little, it's supposed to write what you have in the shop. Uh, advertisement, <laughs> is that the right word? <laughs> yeah. And I first, first I got this uh, shoes, shoe and I put one of the new uh, brads from Graphic 45 here. And it's uh, plain on the back. Like so. And uh, here, I don't know if it shows up, I glued some bottles down. Just made a, so they can stand. Made some paper behind here. And some butterflies, and uh, again another flower from clay, and some feathers. And uh, this is loose, so this actually comes off. And here I have a zipper around, and I took my station and colored it green. So. so it can be stand by itself like so, but I wanted to have... I started it like so, but I found out it was far too small, so I had to make one more circle. So could place all the things. So here are some laces around and some pleated trim and some woven uh, rope and the ball chain from Tim Holtz. So when I cut out strips from the paper here and glue it together in a circle like so. And uh, I think I forgot to tell 
Uh, this is the lace, rose lace I bought from Annie and it was uh, really great because I could cut it in the middle and use it uh, and I got twice as much. So I use some here and some from the other side around here, the lace. And these um, fasteners are also from Tim Holtz. And uh, it's really hard to film this because it's so big. And I will show you the back here of the purse. Uh, it's made, uh, as I said, from acetate. And this lace I got from Ron. Thank you so much. And I used a lot of uh, uh, glossy accent uh, on the bottles to make it look like bottles. And inside here we have a little medicine bottle. This should come out. And here it says... Um, oh, it shows up, it's in Norwegian. But one daily dose of happiness have to take it every morning. So if you start your day with a smile, uh, most likely they will be good. And here is some charms, a little bottle of this image. I also a uh, glossy accent this image. And I put some uh, this is meant for mixed media, this sand I got from Fiona. And some key charm and... Uh, I'm not sure what this is called in English. And a shoe charm here I got from Manny. Thank you so much. And this one. And I have a purse inside here. No, not purse, a <laughs> wallet. <laughs> Um, it opens like so, the velcro. And I have a magnet closer here, and it's uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, accordion here to put something in. And a uh, little bottle here. A little card. So. So. That's what that looks like. So I think I show, showed it up. Also now I will show you the mini album. I'll just uh, adjust my camera a bit. So here is a mini album. It says Old Curiosity Shop. And I've also got a butterfly here. Uh, I also think I forgot to show I use uh, Claudine Helmut Multimat on uh, most of the images here that I haven't glossy accent or uh, using embossing powder on. So here are a lot in this book with um, multimedia and also on the front here. So and I've also got this image here. This lady is gorgeous. And uh, some binding and a postcard behind. And uh, usually I uh, uh, create my pages before I make the binding, but this time I made uh, the mini first uh, out of black cardstock and it <laughs> became really bulky. So I should have done that uh, after I made the pages, but I learned. <laughs> so, and it's a Velcro closure here, like so. Here's the first page, and uh, here's uh, Fuzzy Cut, one of the images, and some metal chain here. That's an uh, image behind here, so I can place a photo here. i just put this in for now. And a little bird on the end here. And it opens like this. And here are some bottles. 
can place a small photo here or journaling. And the same on this side. This bottle or yeah. And this comes out. Goes behind like so. And I can place a photo here. And here is uh, some of these gorgeous ladies. And it opens like so. And here it says a shop of a vintage. And you can place some photos inside here. And here's the next uh, page. And I double layered these butterflies to get a 3D dimensional effect. And again, a little bottle that opens for some photos. So the way I created this is uh, I folded uh, a spine inside here on both sides and then cut out the rest here. So I can place a photo behind. And here are just some cutouts from the paper. Also to put some photos on. And here's the next page. It's a frame. And I double layered here again. And it opens like so. And you can put the photo and you can take this out. And journal on the back here. And this I uh, popped up on 3D foam. And here is uh, some more of the images from the papers. So, plain on the back. And this also. So, uh, in this album it takes really small photos, but you can fussy cut around your photos and uh, then they will fit. And it's place for a photo here. And this opens like so for more photos. And here are I created a banner here, so this tie goes behind. And this one. Look at this cute pig. I did uh, ink a lot of the pink with uh, the fire brick red, so um, I think it fits more with the line I choose to use in, in this uh, project. So, and here is uh, a little eye inside a frame. So you can, it's open here, so you can put a picture inside here and a little butterfly here. And this opens like so. I can get all in the frame here. So here is a little tag. I need a place for some photos and more photos here. And I really liked all the butterflies in this uh, paper collection. And here is uh, one more from the old curiosity shop. From This is from the 8, pa eight paper. So I can place a photo here or just journaling. Close up and it goes the other way, like so. For more photos, this pics are holding another little frame for a photo. So, and here are the last pages. I created a pocket here and uh, use this image 
when this is open so I can place a photo behind here and here. And here are just some tags. Like so. So this goes inside here. And for the last here is another frame. And it opens like so for a photo inside. And uh, here are just for some journaling. Another place for journaling or photo and here as well. And plain on the back. And this uh, does open so you can place a photo behind this tag as well. Like so. So this was my mini album. And uh, I have to say it again, I had so much fun doing this project. I uh, think I can't stop with this paper, I have to do something more. So I have something in my mind. And um, when I fussy cut, uh, 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 some people have uh, commented my fussy cutting and, and think it's great. But um, I have a little secret, uh, I will told it before, but uh, I will show you because um, uh, it's very forgiving if you use a marker and uh, if you take your time it uh, usually comes out very great. So I will show you now a little bit uh, how I do it. So uh, I've uh, showed it before but um, I will show you here again how I do it. And um, you can use any scissors you like but um, I think this is great because it opens by itself and uh, it has to be a sharp scissor. I also use uh, an embroidery scissor for uh, some smaller pieces or if I'm going to cut out something uh, inside. So um, I will try to show you again. <laughs> but I don't know how it will come up because I had to have it uh, 10 centimeters from my nose to see. But I will try. So I uh, don't move my scissor. I just move the image like so. And here you can pass forward if you want to. So um, I will show you the small cuts after and also how I edge it. So just move your scissor. And it doesn't have to be accurate, uh, uh, precise, because um, when we take the marker, it's very forgiving. Oh, I hope I'm frame here. <laughs> I'm not sure if it focuses very well. But, uh, it's a little butterfly in her here here and I want to keep that. As you can see here, I don't always cut all the white away, but it doesn't matter when I take my marker. I think I move the camera a bit down so it will maybe focus a bit better. Just a moment.
try it from here, see if that is better. I don't know if you see it here, but it's not always precise. So the white will show up. Now you see here, I want to get rid of this um, inside here. And that I can't use this scissor for. <coughs> Excuse me. So I will use this one. So if I can manage, I'm behind the camera here and having a hard time seeing. But I start like this and make a little snip, like so. Doesn't focus so well. I made a snip here. I have to lay it down maybe and see if I can see it myself. And then I go with the scissor from the behind. Like so. And these small pieces can be easier to cut out um, if you do it before you cut around the image. Now I can see here, I cut out the little hole here. And you see it's uh, not precise cutting here, but that is a secret. We're going to hide it with this. So when I take my marker, I go like so. And you see the white disappears, so it looks like it's very precise cut but it isn't. And I go with the marker inside here as well. So you see, now it looks like it's cut very well. Now I show a bit more here. Around her here. And it also creates some more depth. Or I don't know if I use the right word, but um, I think the image pops more up when you use a marker around. And here you also can see I haven't got right into the face, but uh, we fix that. Like so. <coughs> I have to take some coffee here. So here's how it looks like when we have used a marker. Here you can see where we haven't used a marker. So I hope this was helpful and that you try it. it uh, it's a bit time consuming but uh, I find it really relaxing to sitting in the evenings doing this. And, um, I think it's really fun. So um, I want to wish you all a really great and happy Easter and uh, thank you all so much for your support and to all new subscribers. I really appreciate it. So thank you all. Bye bye.